Hi there, welcome to my channel. So in today's video, I'll be discussing about Amazon Light Sale. So it is Amazon's free virtual cloud server. So I will show you how powerful it is and how reliable and what's the performance of this Amazon Light Sale. So we'll just start from beginning, like we will uh, show you, like I'll show you like how we can spin up this Light Sale, how we can create an instance and what are the various possibilities that we can have. And it also like uh, what are the offerings it is having like virtual servers, storage, database, networking. So all those things are included in a very cost effective manner and everything is like a fixed price. So whatever you choose, there is a fixed price monthly you have to pay for it. So you can utilize this. So it is quite easy, handy to launch your website, uh, WordPress, uh, even Magneto, and you can SSH to uh, this instance as well as you can create a static IP attached to it. You can create a DNS and also you can map it to your instance. So I'll show you all those things in like three, four videos. So today I'll just show you how we can launch an instance and just a basic uh, HTTPD. So how we can have it. So we can, just a web server, I'll just show you how we can install it. So we can launch this light sale. So before starting, I'll just show you the pricing and all. So I'll just show you the console so where you can see some pricing and basic details and the use cases of it. So you can see over here, this light sale helps you to quickly build your applications and websites faster because everything is pre-configured in this. So we can have a Linux or we can have a Windows application also. We can just focus on the code, not on the build because everything is like, you know, uh, like a monthly subscription we are taking at a fixed price. So all those resources, whatever we require for our application or the back end or the front end is available at a single simple price. So we can configure the network access security and all. So it is very useful for small business, those who don't want to uh, like uh, have some uh, storage and backups and all separate separate, we can just use, utilize this in our business applications, small business applications, we can create custom websites, whether it's a WordPress, Joomla, Magneto, PrestaShop, or whatever it is, we can have it over here. Even we can launch our pre-configured uh, Nginx, Labme, Node.js, even we'll try to launch some .NET Core applications also, and even we can resell this custom built products to the end users, to the customers, we can also utilize it. The good thing about it, you start at a small, like uh, one small instance with uh, low compute and memory and all, so we can later on scale it up easily, very easily. So those who are just trying, those who are beginners, they can just jump into this, like we can have it uh, three months of free light sale. And you can see uh, this is a virtual private service uh, there. We can have it like three months free trial, 750 hours per month. So these are the pricing per mention over here. If you go beyond this, that's the per node it will be charged for containers and all the database plans. So if you're using uh, Linux or a Windows, so this is the price mentioned over here. Now here, uh, like a monthly 90 days free, it is there after that, this is the charges it will be given. So here the small stars are there. You can see only outbound data transfer in excess of your plan data transfer allowance is subject to over raise the charges. So another more thing, like one more thing, like if your plans are in Mumbai and Sydney regions, it includes lower data transfer. So thus, just for the practice purpose, you can just spin up this instance in the Mumbai region or the Sydney region. So that's all. So uh, if you see the pricing over here, it is shown over here 3.5, but when we actually move on to the light sale over here, so you can just search light sale and just subscribe to it like three months free. And you, it is like a part of the free tier. So you can just click on this. You can see there's all the options are the instance, container, database, networking, storage, domain, snapshots, and all everything in one place. So we can just click on instance, create instance. So you can see uh, the location that we are, I'm choosing over here is the Mumbai zone A. So the platform, you can choose Linux, Unix, uh, Linux slash Linux, or you can have it Microsoft Windows. So here, these are the blueprints. Either you want to get the instance ready with the WordPress, WordPress multi-site lab, Node.js, Joomla, Magneto, uh, Drupal, Mean, Nginx, plus Django. So all these things are there. 
So I'm not going to choose any one of this because the same instance, we can utilize it later on. So I'm just choosing over here, just operating system. So I'll be utilizing it later on. So we can customize, like we can install it ourselves also. We can install the WordPress. We can set up a database, MySQL ourselves. We can uh, we can create the C databases for the WordPress. Everything from the scratch, we can do it over here in this instance. Or we can choose with app plus OS. It's all, it's all your wish if you want to continue very like if you want to run up the things very fast just go ahead with the wordpress or joomla whichever you want so i'm just showing you just a basic demo like how we can create an instance uh we can run an instance with the using slide sale then i will just run a web server over here in this video in the next video i'll be showing it with the wordpress so there is some uh this is linux 2023 so we have linux 2 also but don't go for this just go for 2023 latest one. I have a video on this, the comparison and all how we can utilize the Linux 2023 on uh, your desktop or in a laptop also. So you can see the pricing has been changed over here. It is five USD. So minimum you have to pay first 90 days are free. So keep a note of it. So, but make it sure once you're done with it, make it sure to terminate it, just delete it. So here you can see the number of instances that you want to run it. Over here, one more thing. It is like a launch script if you want to add it. Like normally, we run it uh, EC2 instance. That time, if you want to add some launch script, you can add it. Uh, SSH key pair. So I'm not creating it. It automatically create. You can download later also. It's not like the EC2 instance. Like we have to create it first, and one time only we can download here. We can download n number of times. Okay. Now coming. Uh, no need of uh, choosing this. Just keep it a dual stack. I'm not enabling a snapshots, no need of configuring. If you configure this one, enable, you need to choose the date and time when you, uh, the timing when you want the snapshot to be taken off your instance. So I'm not choosing to avoid any billing and all extra billing. Mm, then key tags, no need, just click on create instance. Now within fraction of seconds, the instance will be ready. Okay, so here it is. So you can see the RAM, Two, see, two vCPUs, 20 GB SSD is there. It's still pending. We'll just refresh it once. It just take one or two minutes, less than one minute, I think. Not much time. Okay, now it is ready. So we can just do a SSH. So, okay. So I'll just... Uh, sudo install let me check over here once i'll just go to the uh, details of this you can see over here this is the public ip just copy this one go to the browser and just paste it over here okay I'll just go back to the console over here. Okay, so we can just type HTTP. So, okay, currently nothing is there. So it won't give you anything over here because no web server is being installed. So I'll just quickly go to the over here so you can see the metrics snapshots and all those things are here networking domain and all so we can delete reboot and start uh, the stuff we can do it ourselves over here we can add the custom domains over here tag and history we can have it over here let me check one thing over here Okay, let's see over here, sudo install. Okay, sudo install hyphen y, httpd. Okay, the spelling mistakes are there. Okay. 
Okay, just a second. Sudo yum install. So it is downloading, installing, verifying, and installed. Okay, so let's restart system. Let me put sudo over here. Sudo system ctl start httpd. Okay, now we will go to our something is wrong with my interface let me open the interface web the browser okay so now you can see i'll just hit back over here now you can see it works over here so this is how you can we have just installed a server web server so we can have a web server ready where we can put our HTML files and all we can check it more. So this is the by default page. And even if you go to the console over there, uh, the SSH uh, console over there, you can see over there, there is a var www folder has been created. So later on, if you want to uh, install PHP, uh, we can have Drupal, WordPress, MySQL, so these are the things that we can install it and we can utilize this instance. Or we can just go ahead with the uh, normal instance over here. So while create and creation, you can choose over here whether you want plus app plus OS. So similarly, you can uh, install Magneto and all. So LAMP, Node.js and all. I'll show you just a few examples how we can work on apps plus OS and later on, some other features also we can explore it together. So this is how you can create. So if you are done with this, if you have completed some your task, you can just, you need to stop it. You can see this manage option is there. This is a public IP address. Later on, you can have a static IP, private IP. So it won't, so you can see easy to user, SSH key, as I told you, we can download it multiple times. There is nothing like we can just have it one time only. So these are the metrics, the snapshots, the storage. So this is the disk path over here, the block storage and networking. You can see this is the attached public IP and this is the private IP and there is a firewall. Oh, another important thing, you can add some firewall rule also, which ports need to be open and which ports need to be like denied and all we can have it over here. So for you can see for SSH and HTTP traffic, this too. The rules, inbound rules are already being added over here. So by default, so we need not to create this. And IPv6 is also there as we choose a dual stack in the beginning. So we can have it over here. Even we can add load balancing. So it is not sharing traffic with any other. We can have it this example also, how we can, we can introduce the load balancing, how then the distribution we can have. We can have the CDNs attached over here. So we will try to explore as much we can. So lots of options are there. Domain also we can add it. I'll just show you how we can register a domain. Then we can how we can add it. Basically, we have to do this Amazon root three. So if you watch my video on Amazon root fifty three, you can easily understand how we can register a new domain and we can that uh, AD cards or DNS records that we need to add it over here. The tags and a history over here. You can when the instance was being created or stopped, you can have or reboot it, you can have a full history. So once you're done, just stop. Then you can delete it. I'm just making a full stop. So you won't have the opportunity to, to like flush the file system caches or file system metadata. So we cannot repair again. So I'm just clicking for stop as I don't want this at all. So I will just click delete, confirm. That's all. So I hope uh, it will be deleted once it stops that one. So we will explore all these options, uh, containers, database, networking, storage, domain, and DNS, slowly, slowly, one by one in each video. Next video, I'll be coming up with the WordPress. Then we will explore more how we can uh, utilize this light sale, the quickest approach we can have using this light sale. And it is like a much faster way to learn to explore without like, you know, worrying about what are the resources you need to spin up, how you are going to take care of it. Just you can focus on the development. 
I hope you like my video. Please do like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.